Okay, so this is my ENG camera. As opposed to, let's say, a more consumer level camera or a camera that we might have inside the new studio, this camera is specifically designed to be larger and to be a little more durable than uh, something you might be able to pick up at Walmart. Now this is a Panasonic ENG camera. And ENG stands for Electronic News Gathering. And that's the specific type of camera that's designed for use by news camera operators. Uh, while they're similar to consumer level camera recorders, they differ in several ways. The biggest way is the size. Uh, the heavier and larger size of the body helps to dampen small movements and helps to keep the camera more steady. They're designed larger. Uh, one reason is because of all the buttons and menus we have on the outside. And this helps us a lot without because basically we're able to change the settings on the camera without having to go into a digital menu and really slow us down. Our lens is focused manually, so we have to rotate one of these rings to change our field of focus. We have a rotating ND filter wheel, and the size of the camera in general allows us to access most of the camera's settings with hard physical switches which are all around the outside of the camera. Uh, we can adjust gain or uh, our noise level, our white balance, we can turn on color bars. Now part of the reason these are so big uh, is actually for stability. Even though we can advance technology and make cameras smaller, uh, you can't beat physics. And what you want when you're moving is as large of a sort of uh, counterweight as possible went for the movements I make when I'm moving. Uh, so having this be so big and going back to help counterbalance itself really helps to smooth out shots when I'm running down the street. But yeah, this guy's huge. Uh, sometimes it feels like I'm holding a gun. Uh, coming to take my daughter on a date, I see. Well, you better treat her well or I'm gonna have to shoot you. This whole camera can survive a pretty good beating. A few weeks ago, we got hit by a rocket. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Where did it hit? Did it really? A little tricky. Our photographer, Jesse, was hit directly by the first bottle rocket. Not many people have the chance to have that happen to them. Yeah. Lucky Jesse. That's like getting struck by lightning. He was okay. Let's try this again. Nope. And I was fine. I still got a little scar, but I'm mostly okay. But before that, we were filming a perp walk for a serial flasher, and I accidentally <laughs> ran into a wall. Why do you keep on going to these stores? Target, Walmart, today, Tuesday morning? Um, no comment. Is there anything you want to say to anybody out there? We've clearly seen you do this multiple times in different situations. But we've also seen some great things. Uh, last week, Patrick and I covered a story about a senior home that uh, basically because of what's going on with Corona, their family of, of the senior people at the home weren't allowed to come and visit them. So the home decided to let the family come to them and sort of uh, perform a safe parade around it in their cars. Mikey Weinstein hasn't seen his mom since the coronavirus outbreak hit New Mexico. Weinstein was actually the first car in this huge parade in Northeast Albuquerque. Seniors uh, sat on the patios, uh, looked over their balconies, holding signs and waving as their loved ones drove in circles just to say hi. This is fantastic. I think it's a great, a great time for everyone to be together and to make everyone understand that uh, we have to be careful with regard to social distancing, but uh, we don't want to forget the people that led the way. These people here are the greatest generation and we're trying to provide the greatest motorcade today for the greatest staff in the greatest senior center in America. A uh, question I always wanted to know before I got into news is all this gear, who owns it? 
Uh, so the answer to that is our TV station. KOB owns my camera, my tripod, uh, this car, everything in this vehicle, KOB owns it. Uh, but the situation is, every day I go home and I take it with me. So this gear is assigned to me. And I feel pretty lucky that I get to use and play with this equipment every day. And it's my job. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I uh, hope to see you around soon.